City of West Melbourne, please welcome Mayor Hal Rose. Thank you. This is a great surprise birthday party. Appreciate y'all showing up. I'd like to thank the Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce for, for having this event and inviting everybody out here. And of course, I, I have to thank Kathy Meehan for having a place large enough to host this big party. <laughs> and of course, uh, I always have to thank my good friend William Capote. I'm not sure for what, but I always have to thank him. <laughs> Actually, I do have two things written down um, for William. For leading your city in travel adventures and bringing your knowledge back to the city of Palm Bay and helping it grow. That's very good. And also, um, for getting the most headlines in Florida today. Uh, well, most of us don't think that's a good thing. Of course, there's exceptions to every rule. Take uh, my good friend Carol from the city of Palm Shores, who got the headlines for two days in a row for opening up a Wawa. You know? uh, we love our Wawas, right? Uh, we came prepared. But uh, speaking of uh, Wawas, Tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, we're starting our Wawa festivities and we're opening up in West Melbourne, so every one of you are officially welcome to come out. Uh, so uh, so with, with that in mind, uh, William, if you're in town, you can come too, <laughs> okay? Um, <laughs> so, well, you, yeah, you can come out. Um, so what we're doing at, at 10 o'clock is having a ribbon cutting thing and canned speeches and a hoagie making contest and all those things. And right before 10 o'clock at 9.45, we're, we change the name of the street to Wawa Way. Yeah, we stooped that low to get their attention. Just, uh, uh, but, uh, so we, uh, we're going to finish everything in, in two hours. Of course, uh, Carol took two days, but that's okay. You know? <laughs> anyway, the, I don't have to tell you, the city of West Melbourne is doing great. Uh, we're growing. Uh, one of the things we're working on, probably the most important thing we do in our city is work on our budget. And we've had three or four budget meetings. And our city manager has already proposed to lower our millage rate. Uh, taxes lower, you hear, hear that? Uh, so our mil millage rate is 2.4 mils. Uh, for the property tax. Paul, maybe what's yours, like eight and a half? I'm um, 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 able to provide all those taxes for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have like to shop in our city, so uh, good way of skirting that, thank you. Uh, we've been able to give all our employees raises for the last five years, our police and all our city employees to get good evaluation. We budgeted for uh, 10, 15 new police cars and city vehicles and a couple of West Melbourne pickup trucks, of course, on that too. Uh, we're building a new public works building. We're, we have in our budget to double the size of our police department, physical building. Uh, speaking of the police department, we did get accredited this year. Um, so we're very proud of that. They got an award for that. And I think that meant like hiding the key to the evidence locker or something like that. I don't know. Um, on a separate note, we, uh, we did get recognized. We did get recognized in the, for, for the state of Florida and having the we're in the top 50 of the safest cities in Bavard County, and I think Rockledge made the list as well. The only two cities that made that list. And, um, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yes, population of 20,000. Yeah. yeah we, didn't, we didn't subtract any Palm Bay uh, people from that. Uh, we have new Welcome to West Melbourne signs going up, and these are paid for by our. Uh, our uh, recycled funds, so we'll see those going around to all our borders of West Melbourne. And uh, we're paving more roads than ever. We've always had that as our big projects in West Melbourne, paving a lot of roads, and we keep increasing that. And this year we're able to put over a million dollars into our reserve uh, fund, so we're very proud of that too for the rainy day. Single family housing continues to grow and grow and grow. We even had to hire two new building officials this last month just to try to keep up with all the inspections going on. The golf course on Minton Road was sold and annexed into the city and they're building a housing development there and some townhouses as well. Uh, and we just rezoned 154 acres west of I-95 off uh, New Haven Avenue. Uh, commercial continues to do well with new businesses coming in all the time. 
Uh, we're getting a new hotel or two, places to eat like Tijuana Flats, uh, Popeyes, Tan Express, and all those fine dining kind of establishments that we, that we like. Um, and we do have a mattress store or two coming in. Uh, we are a uh, bedroom community, so we don't like the mattress stores. So. We also have a lot of gas stations coming into our, our city. Ignore that. Um, we also have a, a lot of gas stations coming into the city, and we do have a moratorium on Minton Road because um, we have too many gas stations. Just don't tell Mike Shaw about that, okay? Uh, uh, Field of Dreams, our nonprofit sector, Field of Dreams is doing really well. We plan to expand the park to include uh, the water splash uh, fountain, amphitheater, skate park, and Promise in Bavard is also. Planning to build a Promise Cafe and Bakery on the site. Uh, they were somebody gave them five hundred thousand dollars matching funds to to build that. Down the street, at Hammock Landings, uh, Promise has broken ground on the twenty million dollar housing development. Oh yeah, yeah, you're needs. way, you're way over. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken the sheriff Ivy up on that to offer right. for, for the anyway. taser yesterday. So anyway. Uh, all of us working together, including the audience and everything, we're getting things done. We love Bavard County, and thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mayor.